Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers dear sisters and everyone else welcome back to my channel and welcome to now the fourth episode of the series today I would like to do something a little bit different I have recorded some gameplay footage that will be played in the background these are just a few rallies I did one after the other um, and in the meantime I would like to talk to you all about a topic that is quite relevant uh, right now and that is Christmas and this is especially important for us uh, Muslims and how we should deal with uh, Christmas so the first thing in general that I would like to mention is that we as Muslim we should be really careful on how we deal with Christmas especially for all of us where Christian are in the majority now, when it comes to Christmas, what is really important is to know what Christmas is all about and where the origins are. So, what many Christians will tell you nowadays is that this is the celebration um, of the birthday of uh, Jesus Christ. May peace be upon him. Or as we know it in the Arabic language as Isa, Ibn Maryam salam. But the matter of fact is that even the Christian scholars will tell you that they can't be sure uh, that Jesus salam, was actually born on that day and many in fact would say and argue that he was born in the summertime but that's just a side thing because there are a lot of Christian traditions that they use during Christmas which are of pagan origins uh, like the Christmas tree, for example, that uh, was used in the in the pagans of in Europe before uh, Christianity was even a thing. But let's get to the important bit. Isa salam is not the son of God, nor is he God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this in the Quran, in Surah Al-Maryam, Surah 19, uh, in Ayat uh, 88. <laughs> And they say, the most compassionate has offspring. You have certainly made an outrageous claim. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear what he thinks when people say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken offspring or a son. Astaghfirullah. And Jesus is not God because most of us should know Surah Ikhlas where it says Kul Allahu Ahad Say God is one And this is very important So for us to participate in an event, in a festivity uh, Where the people that celebrate it claim those things That uh, goes fundamentally against what we as Muslims believe in Now what is it if you get invited in work to a party? And the Christmas party, which is often the case in uh, Western countries. What I hear a lot is that Muslim parents give uh, gifts to their children in Christmas because everyone else does it. So what's really important here is that we should not imitate because there is an hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, where Ibn Omar reported the Messenger of Allah peace and blessings be upon him said whoever imitates a people is one of them this is found in Sunan Abi Dawood 4031 and this hadith is sahih authentic so we should be really careful as Muslims on how we deal with this topic but let's get to the practical side of things now what do we actually do when we get invited to, let's say, a Christmas party from work or from your family? Which is actually something that happened to me just now, both. Like I said, I live in Germany, I'm a convert myself, and my family is non-Muslims. And my wife's family is not Muslim since, since she is a convert as well. And I work in a work field where there are a lot of non-Muslims, and they have also a Christmas party. So when I got invited to that, I just declined. I said, no, thank you. They know I'm a Muslim, so they understood. Not a problem. Just say polite and say like, no, thank you. I don't want to engage with that. And it's fine. And maybe even that gives you the opportunity to talk about Islam. When they ask you why, what's the problem? You can explain to them. Go say, look, 
um, for you to understand this, uh, let me explain to you a little bit about my religion. No, don't, you don't have to say the word by word, but you get the idea. Like always, when someone asks, don't don't say like, ah, oh, I have to be shy and I, I can't express myself. Uh, what shall I do? No, be open. Tell them, I'm a Muslim and I'm not engaging in uh, Christmas. Uh, that's not something I celebrate. And they ask why. You can explain. And Alhamdulillah, inshallah, you will be able to spread something about Islam, which is really good. So, but what is more difficult, and maybe one of you are in the same position, when your family invites you to a Christmas party. Now, there's the same thing. Of course, we have to decline. We can't say, yes, we're coming there, not a problem. Oh, you're playing some Christmas music? Yeah, not a problem. Go ahead. Are you all drinking alcohol? Mm, not a problem. I'm, I'm happy to be in your company. No, we can't do that. But we have to talk to them in the best possible way. Explain to them why you can't invite them to your house after Christmas sometime, which has nothing to do with Christmas. Uh, just be creative there. Um, but it's important, like I said, very important. Talk to them in the best possible way. Now, the other issue that I mentioned was when you have children. They're in school and they come home after the holidays from school and complain to you why don't they don't get gifts for Christmas when all the other kids do. Don't just put rules in front of them. Explain the rules to them. Kids won't follow blind rules, but if you explain to them the reason, they're more inclined to follow it. And that's especially truth with Islam, since we as Muslims believe in the fitra, that every child is born with a natural tendency towards monotheism and a natural tendency to submission to God. So if you explain to them why we do the things with the way we do and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all deserving of our praise and our worship, then they will understand and they will actually be happy and they go back into school and be proud to be a Muslim and not be ashamed of it. I understand it is a difficult time for Muslims if you live in the Western world with so much uh, haram and everything around us. But brothers and sisters, let's try to be steadfast. Let's try to be patient and stay on the right path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. And may he make of, of those that truly acknowledge his right to be worshipped. That was it for this video. I hope you uh, benefited from it. I definitely did. Alhamdulillah. I wish you a good one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.